hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create your simple word count example using hadoop and java so before that you need to make sure to install hadoop onto your system so if you haven't installed hadoop i have got separate video for that as well so you can just check out on the description so once you install hadoop just open the terminal and just type hadoop version to check the version of hadoop and also to start all the demos of hadoop you can just type start hyphen all dot sh and just click enter so this should now start all the demos of hadoop so you can see all the demos are started so you can just verify by using this type jps so you can see data node name node and all the node manager and resource manager are started properly so once the demos are started so let me just go into the browser and just type localhost 9870 so you can see the hadoop is running properly fine so once you do that so we just need to create one maven project so for that i will be using the IntelliJ. so if you are comfortable with other id like eclipse or spring tool suit so you can go with that as well so if you haven't installed in IntelliJ, so you can just check out on the descriptions i have got separate video for that as well so once you install IntelliJ, so just open intel ij and just click on this new project so let me just give some name like word count and here so we just need to choose the map one instead of this IntelliJ, and you need to make sure to have java jdk install as well so if you haven't got java jdk install so i have got separate video for that as well so you can just check out on the description and in in the advanced settings so we just need to change this example into something like code with arjun or you can just give your name and let let's give this artifact id as default and let me just click and create so this should create the new maven project so you can see the maven project has been created so we don't need this main class so let me just right click and delete this first so let me just delete this one and here inside this pom.xml so we just have to add some of the dependency so for that just type dependencies here and inside here so we just need to add two dependency so for that i have got this article so i would put the link of this article in the description so you can directly find and go there and just copy these two dependencies so the first one is hadoop common and the second one is hadoop map reduce client core so let me just copy and paste it inside here and to reload the map one so you can just go into this map one and reload this dependency so this will resolve all the dependency so for the first time if you're doing it for the first time so this might take some time to reload so since I have done already, so this is not taking much time for me. So once the dependencies are resolved, so let me just create the classes inside this org.codewithargent package. So let me just right click and create the new class. Let me call it wc underscore mapper. And so since we will be creating three classes, the first one is wc mapper and the second one would be wc runner and the third one would be wc reducer so wc underscore reducer so just create these three classes so let me just go into the mapper and just go into this article again so you just need to copy this code from here and let me just paste it just cut this one and paste it inside here so so you can see so there's no any error so if you are getting error so you just need to make sure to first resolve this dependency and again so let me just go into the reducer and let me just clear this first so you can clear this package so just clear this and let me just copy this reducer code and let me just paste it inside here and once you do that again go to the runner class as well and here so we will be creating this code so let me just copy from here and clear this and paste it inside here so once you do that just save everything and the next thing is so we just need to create the jar file so for creating jar file you can either go from the terminal and just type maven clean package or if you haven't got maven so you can directly go into this maven so just click on this this maven and just click on this execute maven goals so just click on that and the first command is maven clean 
So just choose this and click enter. So this should run the command here. So the build is successful and again let me again go to the execute maven goal and if I just click on maven install and just click enter. So now this should create the target folder with the jar file. So build is successful and the target folder has been created and also the jar file also has been created inside here. So once the jar file is created, so let me again go to the terminal. So let me just go into the terminal. So let me just minimize this first and here let me just clear this first and just go to the desktop and inside here. So we just need to create the input for which we just want to count the word. So for that just go into the desktop and just type nano and here let me just create some something like input.txt. So inside here so I will be writing something like so you can just write the random text. So let me just write something like code with Arjun is an YouTube channel and you can just write be sure to subscribe. So you can just write any random text. So just type YouTube channel code with Arjun. Also make sure to repeat some of the words so that you can see the difference and let me just write code with Arjun. So the output should be something like Arjun would be 1, 2, 3 and the YouTube would be 1, 2 and the channel would be 1, 2. So this is how we would be getting the output. So let me just save this one. For that you can just type control and O and just click enter and just type control X. So if I just type cat input dot txt, so you just need to basically create one text file with the random text to count. So this is how you create and to push or to push into the Hadoop system. So SDFS, so we just need to type something like Hadoop FS. Let me just first create one directory with the name uh, input and just click enter. So if I just go into the browser and go inside this name node and if I just go into this browse the file system. So you can see the input folder has been created. So I just want to put this uh, input text into this input folder. So for that I can just type Hadoop fs hyphen put input dot txt and just type slash input and just click enter. So this should now put this input dot txt into this input. So if I just go inside the input so you can see the input text has been successfully added here and just click there so you can see the text also has been added here. So once you do that so we just need to run the jar file. So for that let me just again go to the IntelliJ. So just go into the IntelliJ and you can just see the terminal. So just click on that terminal and here you will be able to see this word count. So the directory is already on word count. So we don't need to change anything and from here so we just need to type the command something like Hadoop jar and just type target. So this is the target folder and just give the path of the jar. So word count jar and also so we just need to give the path of this runner class. So for that we just need to first type the package name which is org dot code with Arjun in my case. So you just need to type your so just type org dot code with Arjun dot and you just need to give the name of the class which is wc runner wc underscore runner and just give the name of the class and we just need to give the path of the Hadoop input location which is inside this input slash input dot txt. So we just need to give that. So just type slash input slash input dot txt is the name of the file and we just need to give the path of the output location. So you can just give the random name something like output. So just give the output and if I just click now enter so this should run the program. So just click enter. So you can see the split is running. So if I just click onto this URL job tracker so you can see the map reduce process inside here. So let's not explore into that. So let me again go to the IntelliJ so you can see the map 0% reduced 0%. So this is running basically. So the map process is completed and the reduce process is completed and the 
output should be now seen into the Hadoop SDFS. So let me just go into the browser and go to into the Hadoop and if I just go into this browse the file system so you can see the output has been created so this is the same output which we have just given the name output so if I just go inside this output so the partition file has been created so inside this partition the output should be inside this partition here so if you just see here so the output is something like the name of the word and the count so you can see here and also you can just take this output from the terminal as well so if you just go into the terminal so and just type hadoop fs hyphen cat slash output so this is the name of the folder and the name of the file is part part 00 which is the partition file so just type hyphen and five times zero i think so here you can see the five zeros and if i just click enter so here also this so this should show all the word with the count so let me just re-verify so this should be three and code should be three and channel should be two so which we have just created so let me just go into this input.txt so you can see the code is three times and the origin is one two three times and the channel is two times and the output is also the correct one so this is how you create a simple word count example using hadoop and java thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one